I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now waiting, better believe in your mind Cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything Hey everybody, this is Praxis. It's really important when you're making decisions to have a sense of the full ramifications of that decision, the pros and the cons. We just got an ice storm here last night, really beautiful. This is one of our Fuji apple trees. And oh, hey, you hear that? It's really, really pretty. It's all, everything's encased in ice though. Everything here is encased in ice. Uh, so it's gorgeous, but one of the downsides of an ice storm, uh, when you are running your house off of uh, solar power, which is what we do here, is that the solar panels, and you can see just a little bit of it kind of back behind me, the solar panels get really encrusted in ice also, and it's it's difficult to get the stuff off. As you can see, I did some, a little bit of scraping at one of these panels. Now, these aren't the panels that run our house. These panels run our fallout shelter and our root cellar, but they're a lot easier to demo because I can walk right up to them instead of having to go up on a ladder to demo uh, what's going on up on the roof of our house. But as you can see here, well, I, I already kind of started here. You can kind of, you can kind of pull this stuff away and you can get it kind of cleared off. But it's one thing if you're standing right in front of it. It's another if you're trying to do a roof rake. A roof rake has trouble kind of biting into this. And these actually back here, I think because of the canopy of trees that is um, uh, covering them, these have a different nature of ice on them. The ones on the top of our house, maybe because the house was kind of warmer, when the, the first initial uh, rain came, it melted onto the panels and froze right down. So we don't, these have like a little light layer of fluff and then some ice on top. The ones on top of the roof don't have that layer of fluff, which allowed me to kind of break the, th uh, the things up. And the downside of that is that it's, well, it's below freezing now. The ice is not uh, melting and uh, we don't have, we're not supposed to be getting any real sun today. It's, you know, it's, it's bright enough out here. And if the solar panels were uncovered, we'd probably be getting maybe like, maybe four or five amps off of our system, which isn't nothing at all. I mean, you can you can go during the day and that'll kind of keep you going. But the reality is, is those panels are not going to thaw today. And the ice that's up there, it's a, a layer of hard ice and then some maybe some snow and then some more hard, hard ice on top of those. So today we can't really expect to get those things cleared. And I think it's important for people to be realistic about that. Whenever people are talking about things like, you know, solar power or renewables or anything, this people break themselves up into two camps. One camp is totally for it, and they're just talking about how wonderful this thing is. You know, you know it's, all, it's all pros. And then the other side is all, all cons. You know, the people that are all you know, anti-renewable power, because, well, they say things like, well, what do you do at night? It's pretty easy, you have batteries. We, we, we run our house at night all the time. It's not a big deal. But uh, to say that something doesn't have any downsides is, is kind of untrue, and it really puts people into situations where they end up making uh, well, bad decisions or decisions at the very least that they end up perhaps being kind of, uh, uh, you know, unhappy with later if you're, you're misled into thinking that something is all good or all bad. Like, let's just say hypothetically, this isn't, you know, a real life scenario, but let's just say hypothetically there was some kind of like a germ or an illness going around and, you know, hypothetically maybe, uh, you know, some company develops some kind of a vaccine. Well, what if this vaccine doesn't actually prevent that illness from being spread person to person? But, you know, you get the different camps and one camp just says, you get this vaccine and you, you never get this illness. If, uh, you know, people are, go into something like that, you know, with that kind of a, a false sense of, you know, this is 100% you know, good, uh, then they are going to probably be uh, disappointed when that doesn't end up being the reality. Now, on the, on the flip side, you know, just going back to this completely hypothetical, completely made up scenario, you know, if there's this disease going around and there's this vaccine that's developed and maybe it doesn't prevent the illness from being spread, but maybe it makes it so that it's more survivable for certain sections of the population. And then you have people that are totally anti that thing and they say, oh, it's, a, you know, it's a total bad thing and it's got all these, you know, let's just say they hypothetically say that it's got like tracking devices or something in it. Uh, you know, there's going to be people who maybe that thing would have been helpful for and they'll decide against it because, you know, they're just listening to the complete anti-camp. Whenever you're making a decision in life, it's really important to look at the pros and, and the cons at the same time. You know, people in our society, we always, I say we, 
but I don't. But many of us just want everything to be so simple. We want something to be all good or something to be all bad. And we want to just be comfortable that, you know, whatever we're doing is like, what I'm doing is 100% right and what everyone else is doing that's different from me is 100% wrong. And it's not really like that. It's not like that with, you know, vaccines, at least certain vaccines that don't actually block disease. It's not like that with solar power, uh, you know, where it's like you get solar panels and then, you know, you can run off of those all the time. You know, and it's not like that with fossil fuels either, where people that, you know, are boosters for, you know, we should all just use fossil fuels because, you know, we can turn on a generator whenever we want. Well, you're not going to be able to turn on a generator when you just can't get the fossil fuels because the supply is diminishing and diminishing and diminishing. So it's really important to have a sense of the reality of things. Things have pros, things have cons. Solar panels have pros and cons. I love them. They, uh, they, account for at least 90 to 95 percent of all my energy usage is now all solar panels and it's great because my energy bills are like that you know people on here online are bitching about like oh my energy bills are so high and this and that my energy bills are practically nothing now i i paid a bit up up front i paid about twenty thousand dollars for the system but honestly with the way that energy prices are going right now i i know people that are every you know, five or six months, they've got like a thousand dollar bill. So it doesn't take that much time to recover from it. And boy, am I glad that I put in the best investment when I did, but I did so with the understanding that, you know, it wouldn't always work for me. Sometimes there's, uh, you know, really dark days. You know, you have many, many days of dark in a row. I know we've had that, you know, there was one day, it was like five days and it was just really dark and rainy. That's not to say you can't get solar power while it's raining out, but some days it's like rainy and there's a really, really thick cloud cover and you just, you don't get very much. But the reality is, is that for all the downsides of days when solar power doesn't work, there are, the majority are really great up to, uh, you know, upsides. But if you sell these things to people saying it's always 100% good and people will get into the, they'll paint themselves kind of into a corner where when I set up my system, I made it so I could jump back to the grid so I could get grid power when I needed it. If I believed all the sun, uh, sunshine and rainbows from people that would say, you know, you just get the system and you're going to be set all the time, I'd be kind of irritated right now because my house would be, you know, suffocating for power. Let's see what's go going on up in the front here. When I do get some snow on the top of the roof, it's not that big of a deal uh, to rake it off. It's just that these kind of ice storms make it very difficult because, you know, the ice is like glue and it sticks to the roof. You can see right over here, I've got a ladder and I use that to go up to the roof. Uh, at the moment, it's, it's kind of slid down. We're supposed to be getting some high winds later on. So I, I slid it at a lower angle. Uh, hopefully that doesn't get blown off of the roof. It's, uh, hopefully, <laughs> but, uh, I, you know, I'll go up that thing and I'll, I'll just kind of shovel the panels off. Let's see if I can get far enough away so you can kind of see the whole, whole roof there. You might be able to see a little bit of a streak where I tried today with the roof rake up there. Can I get that a little bit? I'm not sure if it's visible on the camera. Uh, so it's not a big deal when we get snow, but sometimes you get the kind of snow that, you know, really just sticks to stuff. And, you know, if I went up there, I could probably, if I absolutely needed to, I could get those panels cleared, but it's an icy ladder. It's really high. And, uh, you know, is it worth the risk? Today, it's not. We're gonna have uh, sun in like, uh, Either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, we're going to get sun. All this stuff's going to melt off. We're going to be back to 100% solar power. But for today, because I understood that solar panels do have their downsides as well as mostly upsides, I was prepared for it. And it's important to remember everything has upsides and downsides. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hey, YouTube preppers. If you enjoyed this video, then you're probably going to like this video where I talk about how to set up your own solar electric system, starting from something very simple that I think is accessible to pretty much everybody.